welcome to ehiddenbrain.com <clears throat> today we'll see a topic a very interesting topic of toc which is push down automata push down automata right which is called as pda okay now why it is called as push down because there is a stack used here and a stack is having one of the operation called push and that's why this is called as a push down automata now let's see the definition before i go further right so what is the definition of finite automata so finite automata is a five tuple machine you know that right set of states input alphabets transition function start state and the set of final states right so this is what the finite automata looks like if you forget this i will let you know this is set of states this is input alphabets or rather i can say symbol this is a transition function this is the start state only one start state should be there and this is set of final states this is set of final state i can say so i hope you understood this similarly you can have a definition of pda now i will have a definition of push down automata what is push down automata now push down automata is not five tuple it's rather a seven tuple machine you can say why seven tuple because it's similar to finite automata like you have set of states then input alphabets then then definitely there will be a transition function definitely there is a start state definitely there is a set of final state and there are two more things which are required one is called as a tau and second is called as a z0 now you can see this this all belongs to finite automata this this part the five tuples belongs to finite automata plus plus you can say this this is belongs to stack so these are from stacks i can say this is one stack right and now what is tau tau is you can say a stack alphabet it is a stack alphabet and what is z0 z0 is initial top of the stack you can say or just say top of the stack denoted as tos right now it means push down automata is equals to finite automata plus one stack now what is one stack one stack is used as a memory element here you can say that one stack is used for a memory element right finite automata don't remember the strings what is the problem with finite automata there is no remembrance power to the finite automata and that is causing a problems when you are trying to solve some languages like this is the language which will cause a problem in case of finite automata when i say a raised to n b raised to n for all n greater than or equals to 1 this language won't be accepted by a finite automata so this language won't be accepted by finite automata but a push down automata is definitely helpful to accept this type of language we will see this with the examples don't worry about it right but make sure that you understood what is pda pda is finite automata means it has a capabilities of finite automata plus it is more than that it has one stack and the stack will be really helpful to solve the problem right now we'll see with the example what these conventions are there are a lot of conventions required for push down automata and make sure you remember these conventions because that is how you will be able to solve the questions right so now what are the conventions let's take it with the example let's take a example let's say accept accept only a a c b b accept only a a c b b using push down automata using push down automata now push down automata are also again classified further in two parts i can say that a push down automata is again classified as non deterministic push down automata npda and deterministic push down automata right so we will see this what is non deterministic deterministic now you can see this this is what the question is very simple for example i can see one a for example accept only a a c b b using push down automata now how to accept it using a push down automata or stack i will give you the algorithm here now what is the algorithm you just simply have a stack first right 
and what is initial stop of the stack it is always z0 for time being okay now z0 is stop of the stack what i will do is the logic behind see there is always a logic whenever there is a finite automata or push down automata or turing machine always a logic is required now what logic is required what i will do is when to do a push and when to do a pop that is the logic <clears throat> now whenever i get a whenever i get a now how many operations you can do actually i will show, i will let you know three operations can be done three operations can be done the first operation a can be push second can be pop and third can be skip operation also right so what is this skip operation we will see this and then we will see the actual transition function of uh, pda here what is the logic if a comes i will push simply what i will do is whenever i get a i will push it now whenever i get c whenever i get c then i will skip it so you can see this push will be used for a's c will be for skip and whenever i get b's i will cross check with the number of a's you can see this number of a's equals to number of b's and c is you can see a middle member here right so c is not that required c is just identifier where a ends where a ends so means for a i will push it and whenever i get c i will skip it then i will let's let's do that what i will do is i will push first a then i will push the second a now what i got i got c so what i will do i will skip the c and now i will move to b now in b what you have to check whether the top of the stack is a or not means this b is matched with this b or not you have to check so this b and this c, a is matched or not so when b comes what i will do i will do a pop operation in the stack so for this b one pop will happen for the next and last b again you will see the top of the stack and then again you will see that this b and this a is matched and then again i will pop and now what will happen you can see this a a c b b was the string right once this string is completely accepted what you will get at the finally let's say finally epsilon is there because appending and prefixing epsilon doesn't make any uh, change in the strings right so now what happened this complete string is accepted and now what you got you got a epsilon now what you will check you will check epsilon with z0 and if epsilon and z0 is matched then i will say definitely this string is accepted i hope you understood now let's see a non valid string for this logic now this logic is you understood this logic now i will see three a's one c and two b's you can see this so number of a's and number of b's are not matched so let's try to do the same logic here using the stack now what i will do is for the stack whenever i get so who will be the stop of the stack at the start z0 is always the initial symbol who is stop of the stack then for a i will push so for first day i will push for second day i will push for the third day also i will push now what i got i got c so i will skip it and then i will go to the first b now what i will do first b and the top of the stack will be match means this will be match okay and then for the first b i will pop out now for the second b and this a again you will pop out and now what you will get you will get epsilon at the end and then for epsilon z0 is not top of the stack you can see that for epsilon a is top of the stack and hence there is a problem and hence this string will not be accepted for the same logic i hope you understood what is push down automata now let's see one more thing how to do these operations using uh, conventions or notations what i will do is i will have a transition function first of all let's discuss the transition function of what is the transition function of dfa transition function of dfa is i can say that on any state on any state for any input alphabet for on any state for any input alphabet i will go for a single state i will go for a single state right and similarly push down automata will be having its own transition function something like that what this transition function is on any state on any state if i get if i get either input alphabet or epsilon you can see that we considered epsilon also so if i get an input alphabet or epsilon and also also we are watching the top of the stack you can see that and that's why i can say if stacks alphabet i will be watching it means on any state if i get any input alphabet or epsilon and i will watch the stack also and then i will decide and then i will decide where to go i will go to the next state or the same state 
and I will do something in the stack that is denoted by tau star. It means I hope you understood this on any state if I get any input alphabet or epsilon and I will see into the stack also or let's say I will see top of the stack and then what I will do is I will go to the next state or the same state and I will do some operations in stacks too right so this is what the transition function of PDA I hope you understood this now let's see how to do this how to do this fact with the help of notation so let's try to have the notations here what I will do is you can see this what I want to accept was I want to accept A, C, B, B with the same logic logic I will not explain again now you can you can watch the stack also here parallelly Z0 will be top of the stack initially I am here now on A and this is what the current scenario is now how to do it let's say transition function I will explain on q0 on q0 if i get a if i get a and z0 is top of the stack how to read this on q0 on q0 if i get a if i get a and and top of the stack is z0 then then I will go to then I will go to the next state or on the same state let's say I will go to the next state see number of states is not required here means number of states 2 or 4 or 100 doesn't matter because we are not finding minimal PDA something like that is not possible here because number of states are really not worried about in PDA what is worried about the logic of stack is what is really important so let's say I will go on the same state again and what I will do is I will do the push operation you can see this for A there are push operations now push operations can be denoted in two ways this is the one way I will say Z0A means this denotes that A is pushed so I can say that this is a push operation this is a push operation okay now there is there is one more convention there is one more convention what is that convention I will go to the Q0 and A0, A0. This, this also denotes that A is pushed, right? So whichever convention your books you are using or whichever standard people are using or the scientists are using that you have to follow, right? Some scientists or some people might use this as a push operation and some scientists might denote the push operation using A0. But it's one and the same, don't worry about it. What operation they are doing? Only a push operation, right? Now, next. Similarly, when I get, so there is one thing, we are now on the next A, right? And what is being pushed? A is being pushed, right? Okay, now what I will do again on Q0, if I get A, who is top of the stack? Now Z0 is not top of the stack, so I will say A is top of the stack. A is top of the stack. What I will do? See, simply I will follow this convention for time being, or let's follow this convention, whichever you like, let's follow this convention, okay? So, on Q0, on Q0, if I get A, and who is top of the stack? Yes, for the next A, A is also top of the stack. So again, what I will do? Again, I will do a push operation, and this will be denoted by A. Now, which A is first and second doesn't matter here. So I can uh, say that A is pushed. For second A also, it is pushed. Now, what I will do is, I want to do the skip operation. How to do the skip operation? So, on Q0, if I get C and who is top of the stack, definitely A must be top of the stack, right? Then what I will do, I will be staying on Q0 only and I will not be pushing or I will not be doing anything and who is top of the stack still? A is top of the stack, I can say, right? So this is a skip operation, you can see this. These are the push operations. This is a push operation. This is a skip operation. This is skip operation. I hope you understood this, right? Now, what we want to do is C skip properly. Now, let's, let's move on to the next part for the B. Means on Q0, if I get B and who is top of the stack? A is top of the stack, right? So, what I will do is I will just pop the symbol. What I want to do is I will just pop a symbol and that is denoted by I will stay on Q0 still. I will stay on Q0 and I will pop. Pop is denoted by epsilon. So it means this is a pop operation. This is a pop operation. Means for the next B, I will pop this A, right? 
and similarly again you can see that for the next b for the last b a is top of the stack i will still stay on q0 and i will again do the pop means for the second b also i am doing a pop and now once this string ends what you got you got a epsilon so means on delta for delta on q0 if i get epsilon as the input symbol and who is top of the stack z0 is top of the stack right what i will say yes i will say it is accepted it is accepted now there are two ways to say it is accepted you can remove z0 also or you can stay on the final state itself right so whatever you do i what i will do i will remove z0 also so that i will make a stack empty so what i will say i will say remove that z0 also and this denotes the pop operation pop operation where where stack is empty now where stack is empty now and empty stack denotes the string is accepted and the empty stack denotes the string is accepted i hope you understood these notations please make sure that these notations are properly understood right stay tuned for the more lectures we will cover a lot of examples of push down automata in further lectures please subscribe to our channel right and if you have any doubts any queries do put it into the comment section i will definitely get back to you thank you